If you take a look at the release from the Ministry of Information, they claim that they had had some discussions with Labour, they'd come to some level of uh, truth. You speak to sources within Labour, they say that's not the case. Mm -hmm. It looks like the government that we have, headed by the president as well as the vice president, really don't intend shifting away their position or shifting from their position. If that pertains, what do you think pertains for the next 12 hours for Ghana, if Labour should go on this strike? Thank you, Roland. Um, I, would, I would want to answer that, but then touch on a few um, misconceptions my brother wants to put out there. So, first of all, you need parties to form government. You see, there's this whole... The NDC is thriving on what we call glittering generalities as, oh, I don't understand as a this form one, of brother. please. Can you allow me? They are talking about the galaxy. You can write it. Don't labor. worry. Let's yeah. have a very nice okay. Okay. So, so I ask right. I asked a specific question because yeah. I think that you've apprised us of what the position is from yeah. the movement for change, yeah. etc. So I asked a specific question yeah. and I'll relay the question again. Yeah. What do we think could be mm. the huge implications, either mm -hmm. positively or negatively? Mm -hmm with a position that organized labor has taken, and if the strike should um, come into effect tomorrow. I mean, that, that's the basic, yeah. so let's deal with it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I don't think the organized labor can, can make any difference with the current position of the NPP and then the NDC, I'm sorry, the NPP government and the NDC. They won't, because the truth is that the people you are asking to President Kufuado has done that before. He sent the military there only for them to get compromised because they were bought by the cartel. The people, the Galamse guys, were able to pay them so much that they've not earned even at peacekeeping. To the extent I have friends in the military who would prefer manning a Galamse side to going for peacekeeping. Your friends in the military. Then we have a problem, I'm telling you. So that's why I struggle to come to terms with you know, what we are asking for and what government can do or will do. They've proven so, it's, it's so apparent that... Why shouldn't government be in a position to do something in relation complicit. to the demands that organized labor is asking? They are complicit. I mean, there are people that are doing it. The people who are supposed to go and defend the state, the people who are supposed to uh, defend our territories, the people who are supposed to defend our laws are the ones... <laughs> do it, perpetrating this galamse. And that's what I'm saying. They cannot fix this galamse thing. And what are we even asking for? So there, there's a lot of, um, like, I need to build on a certain foundation before I can make, because there's so much sensationalism going on that if you don't send, the, if you don't build the right um, logical foundation, people will take you out of context and really say all kinds of things. My point is, there are two regimes of galamse, uh, mining in Ghana. The rock one, and then there's the surface, the alluvial. The alluvial is what is causing this challenge for us. Now, how do we transition into um, proper rock mining so that we have the full returns from gold, uh, from our mining? That should be the focus. And that is where government cannot do now because it calls for more capital intensive, it calls for more you know, um, resources. They don't, they don't want to commit. Now, what are we asking for again? We are asking that they, they go and they declare um, a state of emergency and all that. That I think the lands minister said they are going to do around the rivers, around, they are going to repeal the airline that allows for mining in the forest reserves. That's a good step. But again, again and again, I hate to see the NDC win a, a political score from this whole struggle that should be a nationalistic one. And that's my position. And I need to emphasize on that because I've seen some comments that, uh, that suggest maybe I'm defending MPP. I'm not here to defend MPP. I'm saying they are complicit in whatever menace we are faced with. And now they are unable to do it because, in part, they themselves are the perpetrators. And secondly, there's, an, uh, there's a very mischievous and hypocritical opposition whose hands 
are dirty. They are doing the galamse with them and they turn around playing the ostrich. Then we have a problem. Let's have a very dispassionate conversation when it comes to galamse. Let's even look at which part of the rivers are polluted, what can be done to solve this issue, and then we can move so forward can as a done? nation. Especially with yeah. the demands of organized labor and the action mm. they intend to take. Yeah. I mean, if I have to re-ask my question or ask yeah. my question in a different way. Mm. What can be done first is to eschew all forms of malice, hypocrisy, and then mischief around the cause. That's the, that's the first thing, because then we are able to set aside all the uh, um, unnecessary exaggerations and you know, amplification of what is not. So for instance, yesterday I saw um, pictures of some river. As they said it's the Densu. And my first question was, which part of the Densu? Because the Densu is, is just in Accra, all the way from the east part of the eastern to Accra. And I'm wondering where in this enclave they are doing Galamse. For all you know, is the sand waning that has polluted that water. But now we see all kinds of pollutions and our first inclination is Galamse. You go to the north where they do rock mining. They don't do this alluvial thing. <laughs> so clearly they don't wash in water. And you, you have the black volta, white volta muddied. And the first inclination is Galamse. Then we begin to, we have to assess these things to be able to come up with, you know, lasting solutions to solve it. I am all for solutions. And I don't think so far the NPP or the NDC in their current architecture and manner is able to deal with Galamse. So no. ideally, what should we be doing? We should, we, should, we should start the sensitization. Of course, first things first. The first is to, like the red zone for water bodies, forests, it's a, it's a no-no. We have to clamp down whoever is doing that. And that is what I'm saying. They cannot do. NPP cannot do. NDC will make all the noise. They will come and they won't do it. <laughs> I'm telling you for a fact. Because their people are in there do, doing the mind. So what should we be doing now? First of all, I said we need to clamp down on, uh, uh, you know, mining in rivers. Because we have to. How do we do that? How do we do that? Jesus no, Christ. Jesus. <laughs> are, you, are you going to moderate? No, no, no. Oh, please, please go ahead. We need to clamp down whatever is going on there. Second is to engage the people, the, the illegal miners or whoever has a license to mine, however the, mi the license stipulates, we need to engage more. Because again, let's, let's cast our minds back to what happened when President Kufuado assumed power. The British style, going in with uh, 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 military helicopters, burning excava excavators, you know, sh sh almost to a point of shoot to kill. Those British reactions to things do not solve problems. I believe in intelligent ways of dealing with issues, and then you have a, a sustainable, you know, um, and lasting effect for everyone. We've done all some of these things. I see Ghanaians asking to shoot to kill people. We are in a democratic dispensation. You don't shoot to kill people. The soldier doing that can have consequences after the actions. So, so please, let's, let's deal with this issue dispassionately. Mm. Like I mentioned, let's set aside the glittering generalities. Somebody goes to take a picture of Western region somewhere, and they, they, they want to paint a picture as if the whole of Ghana is polluted. It's not it. Let's, let's, be, let's be very uh, precise in, our, in our, um, our definitions for Galamse itself. Let's be very precise in what can be done to solve the issue. And let's be very precise on where the, the, hot, the hot spots are, and then we can deal with it okay. once and for all. Uh, 